13. That's where most of the study will be tonight. Acts chapter 17. <coughs> I'm going to read the first 12 verses of this, and that's pretty much the only, the only time we're going to be reading from the scriptures tonight. But I'll start in verse 1. It says, Now when they had passed through Amphipolis, Amphipoli I, I asked Dad what these two words were earlier, but I forgot them, of course. Now when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. Then Paul, as his custom was, went into them, and for three Sabbaths reasoned with them from the Scriptures, explaining and demonstrating that the Christ had to suffer and rise again from the dead, and saying, This Jesus, whom I preach to you, is the Christ. And some of them were persuaded, and a great mul multitude of the devout Greeks, and not a few of the leading women, joined Paul and Silas. <clears throat> but the Jews who were not persuaded, becoming envious, took some of the evil men from the marketplace, and gathering a mob, set all the city in an uproar and attacked the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. But when they did not find them, they dragged Jason and some, of brethren, and some brethren to the rulers of the city, crying out, These who have turned this, the world upside down have also come here too. Jason has harbored them, and these are all acting contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying there is another king, Jesus. And they troubled the crowd and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. So when they had taken security from Jason and the rest, they let them go. Then the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. When they arrived, they went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Therefore, many of them believed, and also not a few of the Greeks, prominent men, women as well as men. <coughs> Excuse me. Really, I just want to focus on verses 10 through 12. How it says, these, the Jews from Berea says these were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica. And you could ask the question, what made them more fair-minded? And it's literally in the next part of the verse. It says, these were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. And it kind of reminds me of the fourth chapter of 1 John. In verse 1 and 2 it says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is of God. <coughs> that's, what, that, well, that, that's what they were doing. That's what the Jews in Berea were doing. The Bereans were testing, basically testing the spirits. They were reading, they search the scriptures daily with all readiness. They search the scriptures daily to figure out whether these things that they were preaching were right, whether these things were actually scriptural. And you can see a major difference in, you can see a major difference in the actions and the personalities of the Jews from both Bereans and Thessalonica because this ended, it says, because of because they were because they searched the scriptures daily with all readiness, in verse twelve it says, Therefore, that word therefore, as a result, many of them believed, and also not a few of the Greeks prominent women as well as men. Therefore, many of them believed. Because they were ready. They wanted, they had a fire in them to search the scriptures, to know God. They wanted to know if what these things they were saying were true. But in Thessalonica, the Jews, when Paul went to the synagogue of the Jews in Thessalonica, it ended quite differently. Well, kind of because in the next few verses after 12, uh, the Jews from Thessalonica stir up trouble in Berea, and then Paul ends up having to leave again. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. The Bereans, it says, therefore many of them believed. And there was success there. But you can you can see what I'm you see what I'm trying to say with the difference between the way they received the word. Basically, how do you receive the word of God? How do you study your Bible? Do you study it daily, or do you don't do you just sit in your pew, don't really listen? You're just there going through the motions. Are you going through the motions, or do you have a fire in you to study the word daily? 
to become to become to become more knowledgeable in God's word. In verses verse 13 through 14 it says but when the Jews from Thessalonica learned that the word of God was preached by Paul at Maria, they came there also and stirred up the crowds. Then immediately the brethren sent Paul away to go to the sea. But both Silas and Timothy remained there. So those who conducted Paul brought him to Athens, and receiving a command for Silas and Timothy to come to him with all speed, they departed. <clears throat> because of the Jews in Thessalonica, the ones that didn't really study, the ones that didn't really want to hear what Paul had to say, didn't really want to hear the truth, they caused even more trouble than in, Thess than, than in Thessalonica. First they stirred up trouble, and they even got, it says, evil men from the marketplace to stir up trouble, help them stir up trouble, and, and uh, exile, basically, Paul and Timothy and Silas. And then they did it again when they heard that they were preaching the exact same thing that they didn't want to be preached in Berea. <clears throat> Which one are you? I don't really think you want to. I don't really think that you would want to be the Jews from Thessalonica, and here's why: because it caused so much trouble just to go through the motions. People think that going through the motions, coming to church, and not doing anything—you know—they just are there to be there. They don't really care. It actually can cause quite a bit of trouble, even though you might think it doesn't. It might cause quite a bit of trouble as it ended up causing a lot of trouble for Paul in these verses that we just read. <clears throat> you think that sometimes people won't notice. Sometimes it, people will notice. That can be discouraging to your fellow brethren. <clears throat> so which, which one are you? If you are like the... If you are like the Jews from Thessalonica and you are just going through the motions, but you realize that and you want to change your ways, you can do that now. Don't leave the building without any doubt that you're going to go to heaven and be with God. If you have become a Christian, if you are have strayed from the Bible, from what the truth says, you can, even in your pew, you can ask for forgiveness and you can be right with God before you leave this building. Don't leave without a doubt that you're going to go to heaven. And if you died tonight, please come forward as the other.